Hi everybody and big welcome to a video about CC. You know what? You know what? Hi and welcome to a video about the best commander in the entire CDH format. CC, the Bredelite Captain. So in my absolutely not biased opinion, CC is the absolute best commander inside the entire CDH format. Yes. But before I explain why I am right, <laughs> this video is absolutely just out there, extremely aggressive video here. No, before I explain why I think so, I would like to talk a little bit about CSA updates that have happened. First up, we have a new awesome card in my opinion, La Grella the Magpie. Guys, this is a grasp of fate, searchable for Cisse. When Lagrella the Magpie, I really like her name, enters the battlefield, Exile and a number of other target creatures controlled by different players. So this is how some people actually misunderstand her. They think they can exile everything, but you can only exile one creature for each player. Only one creature for yourself, that's your Dockside Extortionist usually, and then one creature for each other player. Not like four creatures totally, however you want to, one creature for each specific player that that specific player controls. Then they come back when Lagrella leaves the battlefield. And if a creature comes back that you control under your control, put two plus one plus one counters on it. That's not really relevant. But the amazing part here is that you can interact in instant speed, finding this if Cisse is a 4-4 or greater, interacting with all of your opponents. The ability to interact with several players is usually very important. Let's say you're going up in a game and someone has an Emil the Blessed, another player has a Malcolm, potentially a Glinton Buccaneer around the corner, and then someone has the Benevolent Geist. You can find Magpie here, Lagrella, and just remove all of these creatures. You're interacting with the Gli ha Emil Dockside combo, you're interacting with the Malcolm, Kina Navigator, Glinton Buccaneer combo, and you're removing the counterspell protection so that it's gonna be harder for player 4 to combo off and win with their, with their non-creature combo. Because that is a typical problem that I have. For example, here we have an Odd Nas player with the Benevolent Geist in play. However, I can activate CC in response. Now, before the player is actually casting Ad Nauseum, I'm activating CC, finding Lavinia, Soros, Renegade, and boom, Combing off with that odd nauseum is really tricky. Now I have other options than Lavinia. It's also gonna make this very hard for them. Really great at dealing with an ad nauseum. But my Lavinia Swords Renegade isn't doing much versus that meal. And that's exactly what you wanna have inside your CSA toolbox control deck. You wanna have a lot of tools, different variations of things that are doing a similar thing, but with tweaks and variants. Because with tweaks and variants, you can deal with multiple threats. You want your CC activations to perfectly deal with all three of your opponents. And Lagrella the Magpie is capable of, or, well, not in every single case, but in a lot of cases, she is able to affect and interact with all of your opponents. In my opinion, one of the big skills in playing CC and why I really think CC is really fun, is being very creative, finding answers that is somehow dealing a little bit with everyone around the table. Moving forward, we have more. We have this thing, Rakdos Cat Devil. Now this is a tricky one, or a, a, well, it is a trick. It's a very cool trick. It's more of a combo thing, and it's more of an ambush thing. Remember, Cisse is addicted to mana, and whatever can make a lot of mana in a ritual way, that's very interesting for Cisse. At the beginning of your end step, create a treasure token for each creature that died this turn, including all creatures, yours and yours opponent. So if you're able to like go to combat, attack someone with a bunch of your creatures and they block a bunch of your creatures, they trade, they lose creatures, you lose creature, and then you activate Cise and boom, you put the cat devil into play and you go to the end step and you create like more treasures than you paid for CC activation, you might get in turn this into a ritual, increasing Cise's power and toughness and gaining like more treasures to activate again. Remember, CC can usually win in instant speed, so comboing off in your end step, that isn't a problem. 
And even if this just sits and hang for casual purposes throughout the match, it will help you a lot. Speaking of mana, we also have Guild Artisan. It's a 2 CMC red legendary enchantment that is giving CC the ability that whenever she attacks, you're creating two treasure tokens. So this is basically paying for itself. It's like a 2 CMC mana dork with pseudo haste. Well, you have to have your commander in play and be able to attack with that commander to gain the two treasures. Or you also have to attack the play with it most life. Still, it's a small thing that really helps out. But let's talk a little bit about why I draw the crazy conclusion of CZ being the best commander inside the entire format. In my opinion, CZ is definitely the commander of all commanders that is receiving most updates and has most update potential. You see, Wizard of the Coast are printing a lot of new cards that is helping all commanders universally. However, something they are printing a little bit more frequently of is legendary creatures. And just like they printed this thing, over time they are going to print more things that is just gonna help Cisei more and more to explode. And even if they print a new commander that is just amazing on its own, will be a great leader for your 99, well, you can make that commander as a 5 color version. For example, you can easily make a 5 color Venota with Cisse as the commander having Venota inside the deck. She also benefits a lot from what usually other commanders also benefits from. For example, Professional Phase Breaker, I think that's an all-star for Cisse, honestly. It's great for Timna decks, it's great for Red decks, it's great for Venota. Well, it's amazing for Cisse to oh, well, it's amazing for a lot of decks. But Cisse really likes creatures that goes to combat, connect to people's face, that's gonna help them win with the Revi. And we really like when we are able to create a lot of mana. And we really like when we have a creature that is good at like gaining value when we don't have access to our commander. So you can sacrifice treasures with this to basically card draw a tiny bit because a big problem with Cisse is that Cisse is usually being killed all of the time, like Granite Magistrate, Counterspell, Spot Removals, Opposition Agents, etc. This is like solving everything. This is great when you have your Cisse in play. This is great when you want to combo off and win with Cisse. This is great that when we don't have Cisse in play. It is amazing! With the amount of new cards that are being printed that are producing treasures, I, I really think we're going to make a Cisse deck soon that we're calling Cisse the Treasure Hunter. It even has a cool combo going for it. Cisse Citadel, or well, Cisse Treasure Hunter. Or you can also call it Five Color Magda. You basically play all the great cards that are great for CDH that you want to have inside the 99 that are producing treasures. And Cisse only needs to be a free free that's easy to achieve. You just need like a Ove of Nissa or something small like a Ragavan, activate Cisse with only lands, get Magda into play, sacrifice five treasures, and boom, you have your Citadel in play. This isn't even hard, and it's just one of many possible builds that you can have with Cisse Red Light Captain. She can be very adaptive, and that's great when you're playing in metagames that usually shifts and change. And more and more of the problems that she usually had, well, she has a lot of problems. Or she did have a lot of problems, but a lot of them are being cleaned up. Once again, you usually had a great problem of Cisse being killed. I don't really see that as a problem anymore. We just play the deck and the deck is performing great and eventually you just win by attrition or just drawing into your combo naturally. As well as getting more and more awesome interactive tools to deal with your other opponents that are doing silly, cute, meaningless, strange combos. In any case, those were a few updates for CC and some wordy mentions and some personal opinions of mine that are based on true facts. She is definitely a powerhouse to be reckoned with and something you absolutely have to respect. That can win a little bit of from nowhere sometimes. Or well, you do demand some form of board state, but she, she really squeezes in efficient wins. That's it for me and CSA for this time. See you around, guys. Bye. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video. If you like what I do and you want to support me, feel free to share my videos or even checking out my Patreon page. 
Also, purchasing cards from the TCG Players website using the affiliate link in the description below of the video will also help the channel grow. So a big thank you to all of you.